another beautiful day in Skyrim. I forgot to mention Peaceful as well. In case you are new, welcome to the new series that I am making in Skyrim of the top mods that you should not install, aka SAS mods. Some of those mods will always be fine to use, but I just want to warn you about some of the bad effects a mod has. Other times a mod can completely destroy your game. And the worst part is, some of those mods are so famous and there are so many people that keep pushing them, you should at least know about them. I might be using different games on the background so let me know if you care too much about that or if you want only to see Skyrim footage when I make those videos. You're super awesome and thank you for your time. If you like those series you can help me find my audience by dropping a sub, liking the video or commenting down below. Only 9.2% of you guys are subscribed to the channel so I will appreciate it a lot if you did so. That being said, today we have some very very spicy mods and I don't mean spicy in a good way. This is Capital White run expansion and I remember back in the day when I was young and beautiful the area will progressively expand the more and more you did in the game. Capital White run expansion does exactly that. Maybe one of the coolest mods out there. I remember I've installed this mod so many times because it has the same effect. The more you progress with White run more quests showing up more NPCs. You will see visually White run expanding similar to the tree quest in White run. However this mod completely crashes the game because it adds so many new different scripts even if you just use this with a vanilla mod list after you finish the dragon reach quest the game will keep crashing over and over again i would highly recommend you guys to skip this mod there is no such mod that does exactly what this one does without bugs at least then we have face light this is a little bit of cheating because i did kind of cover that in my previous episode face light similar with alternative conversation camera or when combined with has an extremely weird buggy script that is happening that is going to crash your game this was one of the very first mods that I've seen MXR covering in his videos like almost what 10 years ago or something and this mod to this day has people coming back and downloading it it is outdated there is a newer version which kind of fixes some of the issues and it's much more lighter but the amount of scripts the original mod has I will try and do my best to convince you not to get this mod and you should just fix that by installing a good lighting mod which we are going to talk about later on the video. Next we have one of my most favorite mods of all time. When I played Skyrim I always downloaded this, usually I rank a mod after I finish ranting about it. This one I am going to do it at the start, Frozen Electrocuted Combustion, 10 out of 10 amazing mod, don't install it. If you do install it, your game is going to look like this skeleton over here. In case you don't know, this mod adds a bunch of magic effects. For instance, when you freeze an enemy, you can visually see the enemies getting frozen. When you burn enemies, you can see them disintegrate and turn into bones. And the same goes with most of the magic effects. It adds so many cool effects into the game. However, guys, as all good things come in life, there is also bad things. If you really want to install this mod, I sometimes run it myself. Know that once every half half an hour or so, your game is going to crash, it doesn't matter if you are on the interior or exterior cells, it will always crash after a while. If you are fun with those little crashes happening here and there because of the scripts and those effects applying to all enemies including you dying to those, it is highly unstable. There is not a replacer for these guys but if you really cannot play without it, which I understand, especially if you are on a very light modded Skyrim, you are not gonna get that many crashes but anything above 100 or 200 mods, this is guaranteed to crash your game. Again, you pick your evil, extremely sus mod, it sucks because I love this mod so much, but it keeps getting updates so maybe there is still hope. Then we have Ultimate Combat and I've covered this mod in a previous episode on my modded Skyrim, I've mentioned that I'm using Ultimate Combat and the only reason I'm using it is because of the swing effect it has, but there is no need for that anymore. Ultimate Combat is outdated, it is the wait and call version but for combat but even worse it is extremely script heavy and it doesn't add a lot if you're new and you want to mod your Skyrim do not install this if you want to find a better slash effect go and grab dynamic impact slash effect x from Novon and if you want overall it's just better combat mode just get precision you also get a cool and minimalistic swing effect if you ever encounter combat starter freezing 
FPS drops and performance issues while in general being in combat. The criminal in this case guys, it's ultimate combat. Then we have another mode that many of you in the comment section are going to hate me for this and this is called Skyrim 3D Tracing Plan. And you might say, oh my god cow, there is no way, not the trees and the plants. Hold your punch for a moment there. I've noticed that every single mod list in Skyrim runs a mod called Skyrim is Windy. Skyrim is Windy, and I will explain why I'm mentioning this. If you're going to use Skyrim 3D to recent plants, the Skyrim Windy effect is not going to apply. So only and only if you care to add wind effect to your trees, the grass, and signs, and pretty much everything in Skyrim, do not install 3D trees and plants. I see many people installing this mod right here which is an amazing mod by the way but later on installing Skyrim is windy and they have the game be completely broken you can install happy little trees which they are using vanilla assets and the windy effect also applies to them do not get 3d trees in plus and i'm sorry if you're using that not nearly as bad as the mods i've mentioned previously next we have a mod that if you want to speedrun your game crashing or having issues let's call it issues i guess it's dynamic collision adjustment one of the coolest mods I've seen, imagine precision but it actually works with movement on the problem is however when you fight specific enemies inside caves and you know how small those corridors are, for example the spider in bleak falls barrow dynamic collision adjustment it is going to bug the already bugged enemies causing many issues into your game I don't know guys, this mod caused issues so many times at first I thought I've done something wrong on my part, doesn't matter how many times I will run this mod, it will always have the same issues, enemies clipping, issues everywhere when it comes to movement. I haven't seen any update recently for this mod, but it's one of those mods that, similar to the white run expansion, it's one of the coolest mods on paper, but when it comes to practice, it really needs a lot of polishing, so I will try and recommend you guys not to run this with precision or nemesis. Actually, you know what, don't run it at all, so let me know if you have issues or not. Then we have one of the oldest mods of scary almost as old as me this is helgen reborn and this mod does exactly what it says helgen gets reborn there you go Cap, what an amazing way to describe things. But this is going to rework Helgen to actually become a nice place for you to have some progress and it adds a bunch of new quests, NPCs, armors, however with all of those things it also adds a lot of bugs guys, a lot of crashes. I can make this video an hour long of why you shouldn't install Helgen Reborn, but I want to make this short and just tell you that this is completely outdated, don't get this mod, just skip it and move on, it's one of those mods that it has so many downloads and people keep recommending to have this mod on the mod list, I would recommend you not to if you really care about the stability of your game and your mental health. We have enhanced lights and effects. This is the very first lighting mod that came out in Skyrim as far as I remember and people who are very new to modding, they are going to pick this up and sadly this mod, it doesn't have patches for many of the new areas. It has the biggest amounts of flickering, you are not going to have crashes with this mod, however you are going to have issues almost every everywhere when it comes to lighting. If you are looking for a good lighting mod, I have just a fix for you. If you want an overall better lighting overhaul, get looks. It does exactly what enhanced lights does but 10 times better. It has patches for everything and it keeps getting updates constantly all the time. If you want something that only alters the interiors, aka much more performance friendly, go and grab window shadows including caves. And if you want something that it's like looks but slightly much more performance friendly, you can go and grab Relighting Skyrim. The problem with Relighting Skyrim is that it makes everything extremely dark. It's more of a combination of both a lighting mod and a gameplay fix, because how much dependent you become to light sources, that being magic or just torches. Download this if you really love dark corridors and interiors. Then we have Joy of Perspective. Completely avoid this mod guys, there is no reason to use this. Just don't install it, don't add any patches. It completely breaks the game and any first special animations. There is the mod called Improved Camera, came out few months ago on the Nexus, previously you had to go back on Reddit and grab this mod, but finally we have Improved Camera on the Nexus. Replace Joy Perspective with Improved Camera, it is just so much better, it works with most of the combat mods out there that add different first person animations. Go so Twisted Modding, so love. 
and in get this mod. And lastly, closing in, we have maybe another one of my most favorite mods of all time. It's called Deadly Spell Impacts. And many of you will say, not the Deadly Spell Impacts, Gabo. You are literally taking everything away from us and you know i'm not trying to be that guy however with this mod on you will get random crashes during combat of any sort there is a reason why the back section in this page is taken down because aisoku has been dealing with so much bug fixing that he can't walk straight anymore this is one of the coolest mods and i know i say this a lot that adds a bunch of effects every time you use magic the problem is no matter what you do when it comes to effects with magic when this gets applied to npcs and pretty much everybody having those effects you're going to have crashes happen i'm usually having crashes on exterior locations it hardly ever happens on interiors so there is that if you really want to use that but i would recommend you even if you go and grab the patches for this one i forgot to mention that deadly spell impact just to avoid that it's also very heavy when it comes to scripts bodies burn brightly it's a very small mode it's scriptless, it's fun, there is something similar with lighting but I can't find the name of it. I would recommend you to get this if you like spell effects. You can also get player spell lighting but there is not really anything that is going again to add the same amazing effects of deadly spell impact. That was another 10 modes for tonight's episode. Again, I wanted to state for the troopers who have made it to this part of the video that the goal of those series is not to make you uninstall or not run specific modes. The idea is that if I could choose to play Skyrim ultra modded while having a crash or two every few hours versus having a crash every 10 minutes, this is why I make those videos. It is different when you have just few of those modes that I am mentioning on those videos, but it's a completely different story. If you were like me, many years ago and I was literally collecting all of those broken modes and I was getting a crash every 10 minutes. So this is the idea of those videos, it's mostly to expose some of those mods and share some knowledge if you like this video leave a like subscribe it helps a ton you're super awesome for making it this far see you later and happy modding